everybody welcome back to disturbing creations and today we're jumping on this audi b5 s4 i met a couple of guys on instagram that are um, b5 s4 like fanatics and uh i don't want to use anybody's name until they allow me but um it really got under my ass to get my motor done so this is the last thing i need to do i'm going to take off these um uh these uh main bridges to get this crank out and then I can take off these um, uh, caps or the, uh, the the rod caps for the um, for the rods for the piston. But first, I have to get these out. Now they are four bolt main, two bolt and two bolt on each side because I don't know. There's only 260 horsepower in this engine, but I'm gonna try to get five six hundred out of it. So I'm really glad about this. But it's a so they look like torques. But um, it's actually a reverse. So you use this one that is a reverse. It's called an E. So look up on my, if you don't know what an E is, look up on my tools, um, how to use E sockets. And this is a number 14. So I go from the outside in, outside. I go outside, outside, inside, inside. Outside, outside, inside, inside. When I'm taking them off, that relieves the pressure from the outside first. If you relieve the pressure from the inside first and it's tapered on the outside, it might go like this. And you don't want to put stress on the block or on the, the um, main caps. So we would break this one free on the outside like that. And then break this one over here free. And then we broke this one. Actually, we didn't break this one. <laughs> and then... Uh, Man, they are under a lot of torque. You gotta be a strong guy to do this, you know? So I got this one broke. Now I'll just break the next one loose. Ugh. Do not wanna do that. Wanna make sure you're on here really well. They almost look like they're reverse uh, uh, poly sockets, you know? Oh my God. Don't want to take these out with a gun. I see guys taking these out with a gun, but if you strip the head. Ah! Oh. Oh. Strip the head on one of these, you're kind of screwed, you know? So I'm going to take one bolt out and show you what they look like. Yeah. And I, I put a, a table over there to keep everything together. Oh my God. I'm so, I'm so disgusted already. Oh, there's so much crap in my motor. Look at all that clumpy nastiness. Oh my God, it smells so burnt, this oil. So, um, I'm gonna take these out, like number one, and then the outsides and insides. Number two, the outsides and insides, I'll put them there. One, two, three, four. Number two, one, two, three, four. Number three because wherever this is on the crank, you have to put the main cap there because it wears the same pattern. If there's something wrong with the bearing or how it sits, you just always wanna put the same stuff back together. You wanna to put the same cap on the same rod. If you're gonna reuse that, you wanna use the same rod on the same piston. You wanna use the same piston on the same cylinder. All this stuff wears together. Even though we're putting in new rings, it doesn't mean that it, I, I'm still going to put the pistons and the rods and the 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 main cap the uh, the, the cap bearing um, the caps together. So I'm going to go ahead and take all of these out because uh, now you know how it is. You know what I mean. So you can do this yourself. Uh, once I get one of them removed, I'll come back and I'll get a close up to show you what it looks like. And we're going to fast forward. So some of my buddies are telling me not to refresh the bottom of my engine before I go stage three big turbos, but I don't listen to that because I'm trying to do things correctly. Now you see, I took all the main caps off of this. Look what's under here. 
like, like, gru like, my God, y you want to put this dirt and this nasty sludge back in your engine? You don't want to clean this and put fresh bearings in your engine? Th this, this is how you roll? Uh, we don't do that here at Disturbing Creations, bro. I can't help you with that. This all got to get refreshed. I don't care if the bearings work or not. They might have 150,000 miles on them. I don't know. They got to go. So here we are. Um, <clears throat> I pulled out one of the mains, main caps. So this is your crank. This goes on top. That's where I was unbolting. And as you can see in here, this little half moon piece that's pushed in, that is called a bearing or a half bearing or a crescent bearing, like it's crescent shaped, but it's main cap bearing main so see the round piece then when you put the other piece in you see there's a bearing right there that little sliver and it goes down around like this one that's the same thing so i pulled these off to look i took all of them off just because i don't i want to make sure that there's nothing wrong with my crank and it's nice and blue i mean it's nice and not blued uh blue is burnt um but now i have to buy new bolts because these are torqued to yield which means you torque them down they stretch you can only use them once and i took all of them off and um now i have to get the new bolts which are probably like 50 bucks but that's okay i'd rather spend 50 bucks and buy the mains and know that everything is good like if everything is good on the mains then all these rod cap rod caps should be good as well i checked all the cylinders i didn't change any of this stuff so I'm not gonna do a video on just, hey, pull this out, pull this piece up, push the piston out the top, okay, let's put it back. I mean, that's a waste of time. If I change the bearing on one of these or a new motor, at that time, I'll do a full write-up video on that. But I wanted to show you just like what a main cap is. So this whole block. So I'm gonna put these down on. I didn't take the bearing out. If you take the bearing out, then it's called unseating the bearing. And then it doesn't, might not sit the same way. You should put a new bearing in. But since I didn't take the bearing out, they're seated. I'm going to put them back in. And then I'm going to button the engine back up on the bottom with new gaskets when they arrive in the mail in the next few days. And we're going to go from there. But again, I just want you guys to see what the bearings are. These half bearings that meet up on both sides. It's the same here with the mains as it is with the rods and the rod caps. These are the main caps, these are the rod caps, you know? So when you gotta change a bearing or it says, hey, I think your rod's knocking, that means the bearing got too small, and now it's banging back and forth or the bearing has fallen out or shredded or something is wrong. So now you guys know what it is, give me a thumbs up, a like, I tore my whole engine apart just to show you guys this. <laughs> you know, it's, it's costing me like 50 bucks for these and I probably have to pay another 50 bucks for these, so 100 bucks to just you know, to look. I'm not gonna spend thousand dollars on this engine and I don't check the bearings and the rings. Like I'm, I took the rings, I took the pistons out, the rings I was gonna hone, but it looked like somebody put new rings and bearings in this engine right before I got it. Everything looks really well. So we're gonna keep driving on. Thanks for coming to Disturbing Creations. Um, we are going to start with the build up of the block and I'm gonna start doing videos. I got to tear the heads apart and um, uh, grind them up and do some stuff. So uh, subscribe if you like this B5S4 stuff, if you're an Audi guy, and I'll keep teaching you how to build these engines. All right, thanks for coming to my channel. We're out.